these dreams. God. Okay. Change? Oh, I'm good. No, wait, you keep it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good day. Sorry, 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 I got it, I got it. <clears throat> um, thank you very much, sir, thank you. Have a good day, thank you. <laughs> um, so, in case you were wondering, um, this is usually where I write and um, I hope you don't mind if I'm doing this while you're here. I learned this really cool technique. Okay, it's it's called several things, um, but um, mostly it's called a chunk. Or if you're very good at um, sound effects, you can actually make the sound effect yourself. So the sound is actually, and it's actually even written like that. Do you even hear that? Like, where is that? Damn it, I messed up that one time because I'm nervous. <clears throat> but I mean, seriously, I mean, did you ever know how bad you both messed me up? Okay, I was six. <laughs> okay, I wasn't old enough to understand whatever kind of game you were playing. I know, I get it, nobody's perfect, but okay. Who tells their kid that their husband just woke up one day, took a look at his beautiful, family went no and then took off you know and no you know what you have not always handled your stress like a saint okay and i'm sorry but it's true okay your six-year-old is not your counselor okay mother god he was a jackass though yeah. why do you think i haven't talked to him in like 20 years I don't know. <sighs> Nobody's perfect. No, I just, I wanted to say sorry about yesterday. You know better than anyone that I was born with two left feet, so, <laughs> I mean, that's why I didn't pursue a career as a dancer. <laughs> You know what, I'm, I'm just gonna come right out and I'm going to say it. Mom, I, I know that you don't like to feel abandoned and I know you don't like it when I give you attitude, but I think that it's time that we talk about what to do with you. Okay, I mean, I can't keep taking you with me everywhere I go. I mean, it's becoming a safety hazard and I think that we both know that. Your strength. Sorry, bro. They say that it's true, um, that you shouldn't bottle up your feelings, and I mean, if that is true, I just feel like you definitely shouldn't literally bottle up your mother. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that you deserve so much more for your fate. What's the jar for? Well, that's actually... It's just my mom. Oh. <laughs> she oh, likes okay. to follow me around. Huh? You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I, I, I love having her.
Mom, okay, well, you've done so much for me. Yeah, oh, there's just so many. I'm, I'm, I'm listening them all in my head. Like, um, you taught me how to sing. The grass is greener on the other side. I look at it, I sigh. It's on the other side. So there's that. Do you remember when I was a kid and it was just the two of us? I'd get scared at night and um, you'd come into my room and sing to me and tell me that if anyone was trying to hurt me in my dreams that I should tell them that you were coming. You know, I used to think that was so badass. You know, <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because it's like my subconscious mind knew that you were far more terrifying than any of the monsters I could think of. So <laughs> it actually kind of worked. No offense. I think it might be time. I mean, I know it's been a lot of years, but it just doesn't sit right with me that you didn't even show up to your funeral. And I mean, now I'm sitting here talking to your favorite jewelry box about it. I think that it's time that um, I talk to him about it. It's not fair that he abandoned us when you were here. I'm not gonna let him do that again now. Okay, good talk. Blythe! Oh, honey, what a surprise! Okay. <laughs> oh. Come in. I, come in. Okay. Uh, whoa. I okay? wasn't yeah. expecting company. I'm sorry about the mess. That's all right. Um, you should see my place. It's just <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <sighs> So, um, to what do I owe the honor? Right. Um, well, uh, I guess just with mom passing away and, um, you not showing up. Look, can we talk about why you didn't even come? I mean, I know that it's, it's been a long time, but I just don't understand why you were a no-show. Listen, kiddo. This may be hard for you to hear, but your mother and I, well, we fell apart long before we were even joined in matrimony. If I could take it all back, I would. What would you take back? Walking out on your wife and kid? Everything. All of it. <laughs> your mother wasn't a monster. She was just a bit of a nightmare, you know? Well, um, 
You know, I actually, I have a really long drive ahead of me, so I think I'm gonna go. Wait, please don't leave it like this. When can I see you again? I really tried my best. I swear I did what I could to keep things together. I'm sorry you got caught in the crossfire. Knowing what I put you through, it kills me. Uh, okay. Um, do you maybe want to get dinner sometime? I'd love to. My treat. <laughs> cool. Um, so I, I guess we'll keep in touch. I'd like that very much. You know, I actually, I have something for you. Um, can you do me a favor and hold on to this? It's where she kept her treasures and things when I was a kid. And, um, I think that she would want you to have it. She would want you to have a piece of her forever. I mean, I really, really want you to have it. Kind of like a bonding or closure thing or something. Did you make these for me? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>